Today I'm going to go over the Autocrat add-on for Google Sheets. Autocrat allows you to create a file, whether it's a PDF or a Google Doc, using the information that you have in a spreadsheet. So you see I have information here. Now, thinking about this with, in the classroom, this could be information you get from a Google Form. So let's say I give my students a Google Form, I have them write some information to it, like what is their goal, or I have it rank, they can rank how well they feel about this, or problems that they need to work on. And I'm going to get the information to a spreadsheet. So I have my information in a spreadsheet. You can even do this in the sheet where your responses come in. I need to have a name. And then these columns matter what they're called. Because what you're going to do is you're going to create a document. So similar to this. And in order for this column here, let's say I put favorite team, I want it to go wherever I put favorite team. And so I use these arrows. You have to kind of bracket it in like that. And so it's going to be, when I run the Autocrat add-on, it's going to look over this document. It's going to see anything with these two the, with these two symbols on the side. They will look for that word in between. And if I put the same word here as I do at the column of my spreadsheet, it's going to automatically link those up. So it's going to replace this with whatever is in that column for that person. Now, Ways we can use this, you could have a feedback tool for this, you could be having students monitor their own progress, share their information, but it's, what's going to happen is this is going to create a document. It's going to make a copy of this document with this information for that person, and I can then email this to them, share it with them, or keep this for further use. So there are a lot of uses for Autocrat if you think start thinking about how you can create documents you need to share with them. So the way I run Autocrat is simple. I go up to add-ons. If I haven't installed Autocrat before, I go to get add-ons. And I can look at all the add-ons, or I could just search for Autocrat. It's going to search for that, and here's Autocrat. And I just click. It'll say plus free, just like this. I'll click that, and it'll install it. When I'm ready to run, I go back to add-ons. I go for Autocrat, and I go to launch. So it's going to be adding a window here on the right side. And when I run Autocrat, it's going to be looking for my columns here to figure out what information to put in. So we're going to do a new merge job. So I open the window. Select the document you wish to use as a merge template. Merge templates can be a Docker sheet and must include the merge tags. So I can create one, but I already created that document. Uh, it is going to be, and I can just search for that too. I call it Autocrat Practice, and there it is. Select. So it's looking at that document. Name the merge job, so I'm just going to say test run one. And now you can see, I already looked for inside the document, it looked for the tags, and it looked on my sheet to see where those line up. Those line up perfectly. So the name will go where the name is. Favorite team with the favorite team and favorite food, favorite food. That's all I need. So I click save. Now the file naming. This is what the name of the file is going to be. So typically I like to put their name and you see I can actually just copy this, paste it in there, and now it's going to automatically take the name and put it in there. And it has to be exactly the same in order for it to pull the name out of my spreadsheet. I can put in any of the information too, or I can just type in like uh, auto crat test run. Now I gotta select the type of file I want to create. I can create a PDF, but we know we can't edit the PDF online. Uh, or I can do it as a Google Doc. So I'm gonna do it as a Google Doc, so we can always come back to edit. And then I can email and or share merged documents. So I'm gonna email. And you can see I do have an email column there, so let's grab that. So that's going to be, it's going to go to their email. I'm going to give it a subject. And then I just quick message. This is the file I created using Autocrat. And you can put whatever you want in there. Include merge document is view only Google Doc, edible Google Doc, commentable publicly viewable by link or a PDF file attachment. I'm going to put it as an editable Google Doc so that they can edit and we can add to this. Or if you want, maybe we only need comments. 
It's kind of up to you. We can check the advanced settings, which we don't have any for this, uh, and then hit save. So you can see all credit symbol is working. If you ever run into a case where you're not sure if it's done or not, you can always X out and redo that step. So if I X this out and go back to add-ons and then autocrat, now I actually see the steps we're in. You can see we're in the merge settings step. I can redo the step at any time before I run it. So you can make any changes you want before you run it. Since this is creating a Google Doc, it does do a little bit more work. It takes a little more time. I found that it's actually a little quicker if I just create PDFs of each document and share those out. But it also depends on what you want to do with that. What is the purpose of this? Do you want them to be able to edit? Do you want them to be able to comment? Or do you just want them to view? If you just want them to view and you don't think editing is going to be a thing down the road, you may just want to create a PDF because that does seem to be a little safer and a little bit more efficient sometimes when running Autocrat. So since this is taking just a little while, I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. It actually only took a couple more seconds and it popped up. One time, Some issues that show up sometimes, if you don't see the merge job, even though you completed it, show up. X out, go back to add-ons, Autocrat, come back in, and it should show up. Now I can edit this if I need to, but I'm pretty sure about my settings, so I'm going to click Run Merge. And so right now, you're going to see some new columns added to my Google Doc. Sorry, my Google Sheet. And it's going to fill in those columns with the information for the run of Autocrat. And I'm also going to get a link to that file here. Here we go. And I can see the progress if I need to see it there. And I'm even getting the emails now. I can see that popping up on, uh, actually on my watch. And so there we go. All the documents were created. I can now go to the document. And I can see that, hey, Bubba, I also like the Viking Cyclones. You should watch them so I don't eat pizza or chowmein. Uh, and so that created that document for me. I'm all done. If I need to, you can kind of see it created the document. If there's an issue, normally those pop up. Uh, you can always delete all this information and run it again if you need to, if you think there's a problem. But we'll create our document. We'll not delete the document I already created. But I can add more people to it, and I can then run the merge again. So this is how you can use Autocrats. It's a nice tool to use if you need to create a file using some information you have. Just put the information in the spreadsheet. Have a template file. Put those tags in there. Make sure those line up with the columns in your spreadsheet. That'll make it a lot easier. Otherwise, you do have to select those. And then run it, and you're all set to go.